This is The Room with Domenico 101 MMA and Sean Alden Schubert, Red Seal owner, Red Seal Martial Arts, FAF, FAF with Sean Graham. This dude's fighting Lion Fight 40 this Saturday night, yes, Foxwoods Resort and Casino. Hell yeah. What's up, my friend, man? Living the dream, Steven. Welcome to the <laughs> show, man. Welcome for coming down. I can get excited yeah. now that we did the, the intro. Yeah, the intro man. is always the hottest part of the show. But anyway, welcome. Thanks for coming down to my, my place, man. Yeah, it's nice, man. It's it's, nice yeah, it's not it's bad, man. Setup. We're going to do a few things from here. We're going to have a fight companion down the, down, the, down the line, have a few fighters, a few... Uh, Maybe a couple fans come in here. Yeah, yeah. Sit with some fighters and and talk some talk oh, through talk some, cool. through an event. So very and cool. go live with it, which will be cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, a lucky fan out there, maybe. Once you get some correspondence in here, exactly. You know I mean? We just talked. See, Sean and I were talking. We were talking business because we do talk offline about business because this dude is a business owner yes, with sir. his own gym and a lot of things going on with that. Um, but we were talking business. He's saying I need a correspondent, so when I don't, I can't go to a show. Uh, I could send someone there for Especially me. Especially a big show. A big <laughs> like one of the biggest shows <laughs> in the country. If you can't make one of the biggest shows in the country. Uh, that, um, that I'm a media. Yeah. Uh, that I'm a media. Yeah, loud, dude. Uh, yeah I could send someone there. Who's uh, who's on there? Mike Dara is here. Mike Dara just I'm got his... Man show. Mike Dara just, uh, I hear, just spied with John Howard at uh, Faf, Faf there. Uh, and they went at it. Mike Dara, how'd that feel, man? How'd that feel? <laughs> Domenico, you're okay, too. Uh, what's that mean? What are you telling me? I go to screw myself? So anyway, uh, Sean, what's going on, man? How you feel, buddy? How's, how's this? We'll talk about Lion Fight a little bit first. Then we'll talk about everything else that's going on outside of this big fight coming. But um, you fought for Lion Fight, what, a couple of couple of shows ago? Yeah, yeah. Uh, fought a tough dude. Miguel. Miguel. Miguel uh, yeah, from Team Link. Yeah, Team Link and Worcester. Yeah. Um, yeah, tough fight. Yes, it, yes, tough definitely. That kid's like six over six feet tall. Big, yeah. big kid. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about. it. Was that your first time at Lion Fight? That was my first Lion. Fight. Awesome. So yeah. how was that experience, man? Because we did interview bef- leading up to that. So that was a that was a good experience. Yeah. Uh, definitely a little bit different with all the media and you know walking out has to be x amount of seconds and make sure you you know look at the camera and yeah. don't you know don't get deer in the headlights and you know it's uh it's it's definitely a big stage yeah. and it's um it's way different than going to some of these local ballrooms in the hotel or some guy's gym on the yeah. third floor or whatever you know what i mean yeah and, exactly and, and you get into this arena and it's yeah. big and it's loud and <laughs> yeah, man, and, and, and it's yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, it's definitely an experience. Yeah, you know? and, very cool experience. And you've been on the other side, you know, been there, wa- watched it, and, yep. and to yep. actually be in that uh, that lion fight ring, man, man, like right where you know history is being made with the biggest organization, big biggest Muay Thai organization in the world, who uh, you know frequents Foxwoods comes comes here. They got a bunch of shows every year that comes to Foxwoods, right. and they always uh, showcase. Either our amateur uh, New England amateur Muay Thai uh, or our pros that you know it brings the Muay Thai community out of the these so-called you know these gyms and these you know these smaller venues and kind of everyone joins in, at a lion fight at Foxwoods man to kind of celebrate New England and you know what I mean so yeah yep, uh, for sure yeah and I'm sure you see a bunch of familiar faces in there when you know the last time you were there in the dressing room and like holy shit like you know. I might have trained with this guy a while back or so. So, how did like how does actually walking into that 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 ring feel compared to like which is like the pressure or, or anything like that? Is it all the same kind of once you're you, actually walking? You there? definitely try and make it all the same on the way out there and through the camps and leading up to the fight. But once the bell rings, you know, a fight's a fight and you know, just another day at the, the office, instincts you know, back, yeah. and, and, and that's it, you know, and I, I love it, I love every second of it, uh, you know, win, lose, draw, you know, uh, a lot of people don't know me from way back when because I wasn't getting a lot of exposure, I wasn't doing too well, but I was in the MMA scene and getting beat up, Yeah. you know, and getting out-wrestled and out-grappled and 
my sh- my showcasing was my striking, and it was being smothered by takedowns and this thing yeah. and that thing. And you know, uh, I, I I started working with Sean Graham, and you know, he switched me over and started getting me some kickboxing and Muay Thai mm-hmm. fights. And he's like, you know, I think we found something for you, kid. You yeah. know, like it, it's it seems to be working out yeah. pretty well. Um, I had the title fight at Wishes. Not for the long, no. for the kickboxing yeah. uh, K one rules, you know. Um, after lion fights, Sean, you know, get back on the horse and let's just you know chalk that up to experience and yeah. move through it, you know. So how did that feel? Like we just talked about lion fight, and before that, you talked about you know small events, but after lion fight, you came away with a, a loss there, but a great fight. Yeah. Fought a great, yeah. you know, Miguel. Tough kid, kid, kid yeah. is Tough an animal. Kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tough. He um, worked through. He, he worked through the adjustments, and he he fought real well. You yeah. know, he fought real well, and they're nothing but a respectable camp. Oh yeah, you know, definitely put out great fighters, and they're they're world class. You know, mm-hmm. they're they're gentlemen, they're sportsmen. So exactly, yeah, it's it's always nice, always know. class at the yeah. end of a, a, yep. a, one of those fights. Uh, but then you had the the title fight after that. Yes. Uh, and now, how was that? Because that was all that place was rocking, man. That was when a you different fought, experience. Like, yeah, like, man. That, that was, was that was big. I mean, yeah, it, it, it was a smaller type of shows. It mm-hmm. was definitely a, a different experience. The the training was different for a five round fight, even in preparation. Luckily, it didn't go there because it gets yeah. exhausting. You know, oh my you god, fighting yeah, in the yeah. fourth round, and you're like. Dig, you yeah, gotta dig deep. You man. and you, you both would dig, dig. I mean, spinning you back know? fists, yeah. landing all over yeah. from you, <laughs> like <laughs> holy cow! <laughs> and uh, by the way, if anyone wa- wants to see the fight, uh, I do have a YouTube channel, Dominico One Hundred One MMA, uh, and that fight is on there. Yes, that dude. fight is on my all YouTube right. channel, Sean Schubert's uh, champion. I don't know what it's called, but it's, you just uh, look up his name. But the way I have it, but there's a category with his name on it. It's the so New, uh, New England uh, Amateur Kickboxing League. Yeah, so, yeah. but but I, yeah, I, I right on my page I threw it on there. So for all you people out there, check out the YouTube channel and watch this guy win that yeah. belt because it was a, tough kid, it was a great fight. It was a tough yeah. kid. Yeah, I hit him with some good stuff, yeah. and I'm like, I can't believe this kid's getting up again, yeah, man. And, man. Oh, he just kept coming and coming and coming, you know. And I, I think if the ref didn't stop it, he would have gone. Oh yeah, back, definitely. You know? definitely. I don't think yeah. nobody else was stopping it. He no was, man, yeah, he had hot. Man. Yeah, he, he definitely was a tough did. Kid. And you know, in front of a crowd, you know, that's that's family, Fred. That's and Brad and Wright's right there. You know what I mean? In small yeah. gyms like that, so that that kind of carried him too. But yeah, he, what you remember his name? I can't. Jared. Remember. Jared Givetti or Yeah, his name's on the video yeah. also. But shout out to him. That kid put yeah. on a great show. Absolutely. You know, I'm sure he's, you know, got a lot going on too because sure. he was definitely a, a really yeah, great competitive tough, man. Tough. That was I Definitely. swear to God, man, that place was rocking. And then like just like the the wind, like just everyone coming. It was a celebration, man. It was yeah, it was yeah, pretty. It was good, I was man. like, holy cow, this is awesome. Yeah, it was you know, they had one last night. Yeah, uh, another one. Any yeah. any uh, people fighting that or anyone? No, no, but uh, uh, Kindo. Um, Espada. Oh, uh, that's right. From, yeah, from uh, High Knocks Muay Thai. Yeah, uh, yeah. In uh, Everett, to him and John. It, Actually, one of my kids fought him in uh, a couple of war times ago. Can, uh, yeah, he's yeah, a, he, he fought a twenty-one year old yeah. dude last night. Yeah. He's what 16, is he like, for, John? He's like you out there? Or something, like 16, <laughs> yeah, he's sixteen or seventeen, he's, man. He's if that. He might be shredded. fifteen. I don't oh, know. Yeah, I think he's like sixteen, yeah. or seventeen. Yeah. Well, John, John, uh, his dad is the strength and conditioning coach over there. Uh, yeah, he turns out monsters. My guy. He yeah, turns he's out got monsters over there, like over doing, some, doing some caveman kind of stuff in, in that in that gym. Yeah. Right? I mean, and to talk yeah. about some of those guys, they, he's got three or four fighters on the on the on card. The line fight card too, we yeah. got um, uh, Lucky. Jay Lucky Henry. Lucky's fighting. Uh, uh, we got Julio Pina, uh, Pina. Yeah. and Steve put him to sleep. Walker, right on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was, so and we all doing guys. I think from four, his gym. I think four guys. Shit! If anyone remembers that, throw that out there. If there's another guy out there, Mike Valentin, man, fighting for CES. Coming up, buddy. Bling bling, bling bling's in the house. Oh, by the way, 
We have Brittany off to the side. She's <laughs> reading. Yeah, no, she's <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> she's off to the side reading comments. So if you guys got comments, she's going to try to, you know, get them to us, I think. Eli unless says hi. Unless Eli, she's on. my man, Sean Eli. Ford. Sean Ford. Oh, Eli's, Sean Ford's Eli's out Eli's there. Kids, my, kids my, kids Sean Ford, my, yeah. my, 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 my biggest fan. <laughs> Number one. Number one show, me some, show me some vapes today. Get me a sponsorship, brother. You think I'm lying? Get me a fucking sponsorship. So, uh, all right. So we get out of we get out of Swishes. You you have the belt. Yeah. He um, said he's, he is the biggest fan. Is he the biggest fan? He is. Uh, get no, nah, never mind. Uh, you can't mail that shit. So anyway, um, you get out of this fight. You gotta. We'll talk about all this all this shit you're doing. Yeah. Darrow, all that other garbage. Mm -hmm. Not garbage. You know what I mean. We get how did we get back to this lion fight? Um, did they approach you? You knew you were coming in. Did Sean say, "Let's get back on on lion fight and do it again." How did uh, this come about? They actually asked me. So, Bill Newcomb okay. does the the match local matchups match yeah. for the amateurs, yeah. and he asked me actually after the last lion fight um, at the at the dinner, and I told him, you know, if I'm ready, and talk to Sean and figure something out I'd, you know, I'd love to be back on the show and yeah. of course it's it's an honor to be you know considered that type of quality fighter to competitor to mm -hmm. be to be online fights because they don't take anybody they don't just take you know people yeah. who take easy fights or, or you know they don't take bums they don't take you know, it's, these are the, it's these are the, the, the yeah. next gener like the yeah, next yeah, slot yeah. of pros that's sure. going to be they're going to be taken from New England down Hopefully, the line. Right? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the but, yeah. This is, you're yeah. like the farm league for them, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So And other organizations also. Sure. I mean, we have, you know, other just kickboxing organizations that take, you know, a lot of our Muay Thai fighters also. So there's, there's lots of things opening up for you guys. Yeah. Like, I've been, you know, covering Lion Fight for, like, the last couple of years always. And, I mean, the progression of that place, man, as far as we got so many pros here. That are making names for themselves, yeah. like for jumping yeah. on lion fight, yeah. and then we got uh, you know wartime Muay Thai here. Uh, we got um, no boundary, no so we got other bigger. organizations yeah. in here that are becoming no bigger and bigger. Bringing pros now too. What's that? No boundaries. Bringing exactly, pros now exactly. Too. So really everyone's stuff. branching off. I mean, really this. Stuff. So that's just telling you that it, you know it, it, <clears> the popularity <throat> of it and the new fans uh, yeah. jumping aboard, knowing that this is happening, man. It's it, it's it's really good. Hey, Britt, anyone asking anything over there? Jared Tillinghast says, Schubert, you're doing great things, bro. Awesome. Oh, sure. Tillinghast, thank you very much. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we'll talk about a little of that, what's going on, because you are, not only um, are you a fighter, competitor, you're a gym owner, you also are a trainer, too. You train boxing, Muay Thai, what else do you, what else, we'll talk, but you you own Red Seal Martial Arts, uh, yep. Co. Yep. Um, and where is that? It's in, technically it's in Lakeville, but okay. I would consider people that are in the area of Middleborough, okay. it's a stone's throw away from the Middleborough Rotary, it's right off the Rainham line, we're like a half a mile from that big 24-hour Walmart that's on Route 44 in Rainham, nice. people know about it from the area. I, I've been there a couple of times yeah. to, you know, I went yeah. to an event, well, a couple of events you had. We actually, you haven't been there. What do you mean? Oh, not because to the new spot. We that's what we're going to talk just about. Moved, yeah. You had a spot upstairs, yep. uh, um, you know, pretty, an all right spot, size, yeah. but now you yeah. just, what, quadrupled your size? Like, it, like yeah. how big is this spot? It's, it's an extra five, six hundred square feet, but now the whole thing's usable. Okay. Meaning I had 1,200 square feet, you know, I put new zebra mats in, mm -hmm. you know, had the ring put in and so on and so forth, but I got 1,200 square feet of zebra mat, and yeah. even that didn't really even fit where we had to, like, cut some pieces yeah. up and fit it and stuff some under the ring as yeah. extra, and... Now it's all laid it's out, right we got there. it all boxed in, you yeah. know, we got sleds, we got ropes, we got TRX, so this all is this. Is so you got a full full court yeah. kind of here. Yeah, that we got like 3,000 square feet training or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Now, did you have to add more staff? Did you have to, like, how did, uh, how did you, because you're growing. Yeah. So yeah. you have to, did. you know. So actually, Brittany <laughs> is The doing... reason why he's saying that is because I called Brittany uh, the wrong name earlier. And uh, we were hoping I didn't mess it up. But so, her name is Brittany, but we'll go Brittany. 
<laughs> so Brittany is doing kickboxing, uh, cardio-based mm-hmm. stuff. You know, we're doing circuit training, getting into some of like the boot campy. You know, hitting the bags. We got a bags class now. We nice. have a strength and uh, I'm sorry, stretching and mobility class. It's all like hard, hardcore yoga. She's watching. You know, um, we've had a couple of people go and get personal training certificates that have been long-time clients and nice. have been putting in the work, and uh, I'm bringing in a new woman on February 1st, and she's going to start coming in three days a week to do her own little Oh, something that she's thing. bringing. Yeah, yeah, oh, she's cool. bringing her a little thing in. Cool, so she'll so, bring on, she's got probably a little yeah, following. she's got a little following. Good. She's going to bring some people in and, you know. Well, you know, when I first met you, like, you're a smart business owner. You know how to... You really know how to do the social media. I mean, you'll learn it too, but you... Right, it's all learning. You know, it's your business, so you can take you can take chances and yeah. do stuff because yep. you're creative. It's it's really fun to watch. You gotta have fun with it. Yeah, yeah, what you're doing because when I see your ads on Facebook and stuff, I'm like, wow, fucking, Sean's doing all right, man. He's got you got kids kids classes and kids shit classes, like that yep. too, man. Yeah, so I teach a myriad of different things to the kids. Mm-hmm. They get stick work, which is basically the amok knife system nice. but it's done with sticks same so movements yeah same, same yeah. movements same body mechanics mm-hmm. they start learning you know the the verbiage and all the different mindsets that go with you know a stick versus an yeah yeah exactly because you know the yeah. distance management yeah, yeah, all that yeah, other all stuff, that yeah. stuff yeah so i give them stick work i give them kickboxing and i give them pcs5 which is tim gillette's grappling system it's, it's big big new england name right yeah, there man, any anyone um, knows you know mma pioneers right there yes yeah he's he's been in the game for since the beginning since and that before his, it was the game you know? now his system you talk about a system do you adapt that system to now or is it still kind of the, is I, the same game plan kind i of system? don't necessarily because the the sports program i don't give till you're an adult so okay anybody that's in that kids martial arts program they're getting more of a martial arts okay. street sense of how to deal with bullies how to oh, fight cool, how cool. to frame and walk away and how to get into safer positions so that you can't get sucker Good. punched and things yes. like that you know how to I mean? defuse a fight too yeah. not you yeah. know how yeah. Yeah. and the, of you know, course, that's like the last, the last sure, thing, the sure. fight. You know, what I, I mean? do free workshops for Boy Scouts. I think we talked about this before. A Boy lot Scouts, Girl yeah. Scouts, anybody that's on a sports team. That's where I tend to lose a lot of business. Is when the people go into football, and then I lose all the fo- yeah, football kids, and then back, they go yeah, to yeah, baseball. Yeah, I lose yeah, all the yeah, baseball kids. Yeah. So I tell them, you know, bring your team in. You know, and we'll do a free workshop. It's an hour on anti-bullying how to deal with approaches, how to deal with different verbiages, how to de-escalate, and what happens when it goes hands-on and not to overdo it, you yeah. know, where you're turning into the bad guy. Exactly, you know? just you, enough. Just enough to, yeah. that's it, yeah. now we're done. You know? So <laughs> I start the kids at three years old, they do fitness and calisthenics, balance stuff, you know, they still learn some of the movements with the sticks yeah. and some of the, you know, different positions in grappling, and it's toned down a lot for the little kids, but, you know, as they get older, it starts to get more real, and then they come into the adult program. We have nice. a straight Amok knife program nice. and Tim Gillette's PCS5 system, and that's why I say this is it's not a sports system. So all the things that are illegal in jiu-jitsu and in MMA, the neck cranking and, and, the, and the, the dirty stuff yeah. you know that's it's not sportsman like so it's not in the sport but it's real but it's real it's real it's real and when guys have knives and you know they're pulling things out of you don't know what and you know it, there's tons of violence and yeah. craziness going on nowadays so we and that, that's the stuff i love like that's what i like to train the same thing the hands-on and that's my background real, you know yeah really, exactly you know, i grew up in this i grew up in traditional martial arts i grew up in the personal protection thing yeah and the the sport fighting is just a great outlet. It's an outlet to be able to test yourself and yeah. to learn something that you love. And you know, like I said, I got beat up in MMA, and it, I didn't have the ground skill, and I didn't have the 
you know, I had the strike in, and I thought I could get by on that, and you can't. There's kids that start wrestling at eight years old. Yeah, and that's, the, you know, There's, they get a hold you of you. Know, it's like unreal, a, man. Yeah. These guys are good. And yeah. when it g- gets to that sport level, when there's not, uh, I can pull out a knife and, and you know, do, do bad things with, with a weapon, or there's not a, a, a mentality where there's multiple attackers and the, you, you can't have this go to the ground yeah. and there's an escape route and all this other stuff. I mean, listen, when you're locked in that cage, yeah. there's nowhere to go. Yeah, man. Exactly. Like, you can't climb up and be like, ah, sorry, not for me. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, you're in there. Yeah, dude. that's so, it. It's till, till it's, yeah, yeah, till it's over. over. <laughs> or you, you, you know, you... You take a dime. And yeah, it's yeah. Like, That's not my style. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you fight till the end. You, yeah. you, you know, you signed up for this. Like, yeah. you know, we're we're out there testing ourselves, and that's what these guys are doing. It's, it's, you know, it's not a, a pissing contest. It's, it's a martial arts. It's a, you know, it's, it, there's respect and there's sportsmanship. And yeah, it's, it's a whole it's a other great, side of, of thing, martial arts. You know? It's a great thing. Um, and you talked about you know, coming up, you, you were kind of into the more. Um, traditional and the street kind of stuff. How did and then you got into the the sports kind of thing. Well, I did it as kind of like oh, I'm a you know this degree and I'm a that belt yeah. and and I'm thinking you know that 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 must mean something, right? Yeah. So obviously I can just walk into a cage and fight. And yeah. that's not the case. <laughs> no, it's not. You know, you I, walk in the cage yeah. with guys that are doing. MMA training and you know working out at places like uh, social sports fighting and, yeah. and, and and putting out MMA guys they're putting out MMA MMA fighters beasts animals <laughs> right and you're in there with your gi and your patches and your yes sir yeah, and yeah, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. your karate forms and this thing and that thing and thinking like this is the way because that's what they tell you this yeah. is the way you know what yeah. I mean and it's not yeah. it teaches you a lot don't yeah. get me wrong you know what I mean there's good value in it but it's not for that sport yeah so there's no direct relation so I was thinking to myself like oh let's go and test my street fighting at this MMA thing, yeah exactly this boxing yeah, yeah, thing. yeah yeah it's yeah, like, yeah. Whoa! Oh, yeah, that's I just not got the suffocated. Same. <laughs> so then, you know, I had my first experience in that and went, "That's not the same." Yeah. I got to switch things up. But yeah, I started to venture out and look for different trainings and how do you mix it and match it and find a good, you know, balance between that martial arts way of life and the hidden meanings that the, all that shrouded mystery that's martial arts, you know, yeah. like there's, there's a lot of good value. There's a lot of good meaning to that. And it's, some of it isn't what it seems, you know what I mean? It's like, you got to read between the lines while you're coming up in that stuff. And you know, there, there is value in it, yeah. but it's not always fight based value, you know? Yeah, so exactly. It's, it's a little different, but the sports, it's, <laughs> you know, that's a mean sport. It is. Muay Thai is a mean sport. Mm-hmm. Boxing's a mean sport. And, you know, if you're not prepared for that and you're not doing that type of training and exactly. going the route of diet and exercise that goes through that, I mean, you're never going to make it. You no. can't do halfway. You can't exactly. Do you can't do these, There's they, no halfway. Yeah, right? these people are full throttle in this stuff now. There's no halfway. Now, you talk, you know, not getting taken down. We got uh, Ch- Chip fighting, you know, defending his title. He was the same way. He came up, came up at CES, wanted mm-hmm. the bang, and we'd be getting taken down, you know, every fight. Like, he wants to, you know, oh, sit there and punches, bang. Yeah. He goes to Muay Thai, and he's, you know, the world champion. That's it. And, the, you know, two, the Amer- two, two titles. Two titles. International. Yes. Big time, yeah. So, and he's defending, yeah. you know, I don't know if he's defending the American or the international, or both, I don't know. But he's at Lion Fight 40, yeah. and he's the... It's a big the, card, man. Yeah, it is big a huge card, card man. Yeah. We got uh, big Elijah big Clark coming from New York, fighting yeah. uh, Brett Havlicek. Chris Williams is coming up from yeah. Alabama, my boy. Chris man, Williams, yeah, he uh, fought um, Brian Bogue last, last time. His Bogue's first, actually on the card again this it's time. Bogue, yeah, I didn't I know Bogue so. was on the card. I so. so, that's what I heard. All right, cool. Who to be? So, uh, Mims, how do you know him now? You, cause you we met him just hanging out at Foxwoods. From the uh, last from the, from the last, last time. He fought the same oh, card. Oh, okay. They, yeah, him and I fought the same card. We were in the you know fighter meeting and yeah. just shooting. You click. The, you know, you yeah, click yeah, with yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. breeze and... And, and now you're both yeah. on the same, so you've been contacting yeah. him a little bit yeah. and stuff yeah. and say, hey, we'll, yep. we'll call He's actually been repping the Isogenics products. 
that uh, I use to do the weight cuts and just the day-to-day health. But nice. it's a full nu- nutrition company that has, you know, vitamins and different uh, all-natural-based uh, pre-workouts and proteins and meal replacements and is that a local a local place that you uh, use? It's out in Ohio, okay. but I have a I guess a partnership with them where you know um, I use the products and I can get referrals and I understand. Make a yeah, bit yeah, of yeah, money exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, exactly. You're a businessman. <laughs> they allow me to sell it in my gym. And, yeah, you know, it's, there a, you go. it's a good thing. It's, yeah. it's a good product. So. Um, him and I were talking about weight cuts and, and all that over yeah. Facebook and, and messaging, and he, you know, so he got on board with that. So well, that's that click, the, man. That knowledge that at his gym in, in in Alabama. So it's uh, it's it's very communal. It's a very awesome. Cool thing. Yeah. Awesome, and that's that's what's cool about this yeah, stuff. And uh, you know, you got meetings and you you start talking business, yeah, or or sure. fighters are learning shit, uh, you know, off each other, you know. Yeah. So and, and that's the way you know that's the way. It, you you evolve nowadays, you know. What I mean? Well, back then too, but there's so much more information out there now yeah. uh, to absorb that. You got a little head start, and you got guys like you that share and stuff. Or I'm sure he showed, you know, told you maybe a couple of things. You were like, oh, yeah. cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's very so cool. It's very good, so how you feeling, man? We got uh, as far as this, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about the, about this fight. But um, who you who you fighting, Jor- uh, Jor- Jarrell, yeah. uh, who fought. He's fought for Lion Fight a couple of times. Yeah, he fights for Lion Fight. He's fight, fight he's, CES. He's out of try. Yeah, he's a, he's an MMA guy yeah, back and yeah. forth. I seen he, him fight at CES. I yeah. watched him fight. He uh, he actually fought one of my teammates, Chris Taylor. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know, maybe four Lion Fights ago. Mike Dara wants to know if that isogenic stuff would be good for him. For tell his him cut. it definitely would be. <laughs> Mike Dara, we're gonna talk a little bit about Mike Dara in a little while because he's been. Uh, Hooking up with you and getting some sparring yeah. in down your way. Yes, sir. You, uh, we talked about you being a coach and a trainer too. So uh, we'll talk a little about a bit of that guy because you're guiding him a little bit at going mm-hmm. into that brawl for it all uh, fight on uh, February seventeenth. Um, but you got this fight Saturday night. Now usually lion fights on a Friday night, but yeah, uh, Access TV. Oh, it's because CES is on Friday. Access TV covers both of them, so Access TV. Uh, I guess they had to take the Saturday, which is cool. Access is in, Access TV's got an MMA card yeah, on sure Friday, and then it's got a... Fight fans are not complaining. Oh, not at all, man. Yeah. Free fight. I mean, you know, Friday and Saturday, we got yeah. uh, CES, yeah. and then we got Lion Fight 40 on yeah. Saturday night, so... Um, but leading into this fight, you're fighting Jarrell um, Larinal. I've talked to Jarrell. I actually saw him last night at uh, Cage Titans in Plymouth. I had no idea you guys were fighting each other. Like, you know, I knew you both were fighting on the card, but yeah, yeah. until you walked in this room, you fought, You said you were fighting them, so... We were supposed to fight the... F- maybe September? At Lion it Fight or the, somewhere It was else. supposed yeah. to be at Lion Fight um, before I fought Miguel. It was supposed to be the Lion Fight before that. Yeah. And I ended up getting an injury that turned out to be way worse than we thought it was going to be uh it happened in training in sparring i actually got up kicked in the face and my lip separated from my gum it was oh, a whole a big trip. thing nice. oh yeah it was like probably four hospital trips into boston you really know, it was bad man yeah they yeah. had to like stitch it it busted Stop. open uh, it stuffed it it was it was bad it was big it was like all like, my good. face was all jacked up yeah and we were actually, we waited, we waited, we waited, we waited, we waited, and we were like, why, this thing's not, yeah, it's not healing, it's yeah. not going down, so we have to pull the plug, and you know, as a fighter, you hate that. Yeah, that would have been your first, your, your it was my first lion fight, fight. Yeah. yeah, it was going to be yeah. my first one, and I was like, oh man, like, I'll, you know, like, whatever, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do a, I'll, I don't give a cause shit, yeah, I don't care what's thing. happening, just yeah. like, I'll just get me past the doctor thing, yeah, yeah. I'll fight, I don't care, like, yeah. You know, I could get jacked up in the fight. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna. And you know, Sean obviously is a is a great coach, and he has to think yeah. like a coach and not like a fighter. And that's it. Step in and put next his foot one. down. You know, gonna, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get, get to the next, next one. one. And yeah. you did. You you yeah. were right back on. Yeah. And you're on your second one within a within a year, uh, carrying a title for uh, which is over there. Um, who the heck? No, I'm okay. Um, so. 
You're fighting Jarrell. You know, you've seen... He's had a... So you know pretty yeah, much about... So he's, Yeah, he's definitely he's a good tier. fighter. Yeah. yeah, he's on tier. I think he's still undefeated. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah, he as far is. as... Um, he, had a he had a pretty good fight uh, last time I seen him. Fought a, a dude from... Uh, the you know up at New New Hampshire or that way, um, but yeah I saw him last night great great guy man I'm happy for you man you two two uh, yeah. really good competitors going at it yeah it's yeah, man. Be a good fight yeah definitely do you know where you don't know about lineups or anything at this point do you no. I know Bill 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 puts it together but yeah he'll get that to you at one time know, is he out there right now how many I don't even know how many amateurs and players hey, are Hey, Britt, you're answering them too? Yes. Oh, all right. Britt, oh, Britt's are, doing mine, a great job over here. Friends. She's she's uh, keeping okay. keeping our comment okay. section entertained here. Awesome. She's talking to Mike Dara. we got a bunch of... I wish I could... The the screen. Screen. Need screen. Need I need a big screen in there. Oh, my man, John Spada. John Spada. Oh, there he is. He's a funny guy, man. What's he doing? Where's his eyeballs? He's always sending <laughs> eyeballs. <laughs> Eric with Dodd's on. <laughs> Eric Bedard will be here in, in studio Wednesday. We'll be doing a CES breakdown. We'll be breaking down oh, really? uh, a CES because oh, he has fought for them many times. And he he's fought for actually, he's actually spies, spied with a, a few of them fighters that are actually going to be fighting there. So I'm going to get some really good insight on them. Awesome. <laughs> them guys awesome. there. So And he's a hot shit and he likes to talk shit. So it should be a fun show. There's John with the eyes. There you go. Get them eyeballs out of there, John. John, was your ears ringing? Talked about your son. Talked about hard knocks Muay Thai and all that other good stuff. Congratulations, by the way, for yesterday. And I got your hoodie, Triple X. No one else fits in the fucking thing, buddy. So you yeah. Gotta get it. Special orders for John. Yes, Spotter John. All week, John. John Spotter. Huh? It's in my car right now. Wow. So, uh, oh, maybe I can give it to you for lion. Are you gonna be a lion fight, John? A Spotter? No, you got too much. You're fighting. Too much to. Maybe I'll give it. To, maybe I'll give it to Brit. My, my concierge. Three X. Yeah, will you take his hoodie for me? Yeah. And hold on to it. All right, John, I'm going to give that hoodie to Brit. You owe me some cash. Just give it to me. <laughs> Tonight's about Schubert. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We got, we're talking about all the New England Muay Thai here, John. Everyone's, everyone's involved. Lion fights like a like Muay Thai Christmas in New England when it comes. Oh, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about Scott Kent. Um, did you, did you met Scott Kent? Did you meet him when you came in, or like this time? I or? got a handshake. I I met Scott Zer. He's okay, very he's involved right. with the fighters. Yes, they're a great promotion to mm -hmm. fight for, as especially as an amateur. They put you up at Foxwoods. They get you meals. So you and your coach and your team, who you know, whoever's on your list. It's a it's an unbelievable experience as an amateur fighter. Yeah, you know what I mean. To be able to go to. Not only the biggest hotel in casino, you know, but through the biggest fight promotion, and you feel like you know, like wow, I'm in the this big is, league. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, holy cow, like, awesome! <laughs> you know, it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a great experience. It definitely hypes you up, and you know, it it brings the butterflies in, and it's it's exciting, man. It's yeah. exciting, really you know? good good time. I mean, for fans and everyone, and you guys as Amis. You know, you get to actually enjoy the show too, because you know the Access TV comes on yep. later. Yep. So I mean, you guys are, you know, it's fans like at that they point. They you take know, care I mean, of everybody real well. Yeah. You know, they, 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 it's can't I can't say enough. Yeah, they Scott, Scott, fights. Scott Kent's always Scott good to Kent, New England Scott when he comes Zara, in. Scott Zara is, like I said, very involved, and he makes sure every eyes. Dotted and T's yeah. cross. He's you know he's got all the details. Got the emails going out. Make sure everybody's on point. He's making sure fights don't fall through. Make sure the tickets are you know yeah. are all right. And it's easy. You know it's an easy process. Yeah, it's good. It's a good thing. And it gets you ready, man. Yeah, you're in there. You'll be. You know what I mean? F fighting there as a pro someday. So I hope so. Yeah. yeah, I hope so. Now, now as far as that, like how how do you know? Like as far as more, I mean, we know MMA. As far as you know, Amy the pro, like how is that in in um, like Muay Thai? Because I know so many more amateur Muay Thai fighters than I know pro. Is it a longer process to get from like amateur to the pro Muay Thai? Like, what's the progression there? Kind of? is it just when you're culture? So. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. For me, it's just being prepared and and going through that process and seeing how 
the professionals do it yeah. versus how an amateur does it, you know, and the level of commitment is big. Yeah. You have to commit. If you want to compete at that level, these guys live in the gym. Mm. They go to double and triple sessions. They immerse, immerse themselves in it. They're eating right. They're, they're on point with their workouts. They're training with different coaches. And, you know, it's not just, you know, I, I go to this gym and this guy trains me. Yeah. And I, I get to do fights, you know. And I think when all that clicks, that's when it's really time to go. I think that between different emotions through being a fighter and you know the fighter promoter relationship and the and the coach relationship and uh, being a business owner and all these things are thrown into the mix where fighting's already like all up here anyways yeah. you know it's it's anticipation it's all the way up it's like 6 8 10 12 weeks of like you know, you're yeah, in it, man. It, like, yeah. If you're not ready for that, yeah. you're not ready to, to get in yeah. there and do that type of stuff. So, I I don't know. And just I think that the MMA thing is, again, my personal opinion, like kind of like a new age type of thing where Muay Thai... St- even though it's becoming more popular and the awareness is growing of it around here, yeah. that it's been around forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's traveled the world and it's been here since, you know, the kickboxing days in the 70s where it was, like, rare to see a Muay Thai guy because we had American kickboxing. Yeah. And there was, like, this phenom from... You know, Thailand was supposed to come in and it hyped up the whole thing. It was like Muay Thai versus American kickboxing and this thing and that. You know, it's like, and now it's evolved and it's grown and it's spread. And but there's still that traditional Muay Thai, and you know, you and, see and that's, that and that's big. Yeah. yeah, it's it's big in the locker rooms. Yeah. It's big at some of these shows, the regional shows. Yeah. I mean, people live and breathe it. I mean, yep. I mean, some, yep. you know, yep. it's just amazing. And in that old traditional type of way they see that fighting is fighting and it's all experience and it's not about oh what's your record you see some of these guys yeah. from Thailand and some of these other fighters that it's hundreds of fights yeah hundreds of fights yeah. you see some of the records that Lion okay, fights like and it's four hundred like, and something. Yeah, there's and, like and 11 yeah, there's like two hundred fights. Yeah. It's like what? The yeah, heck? they don't even talk about their record. It's just how many fights do you have? Yeah, oh, yeah, God. like you said. It's now, once a loss, how many? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, uh, you know, again, I don't know. I'm not in the the circuit of MMA, and I'm not judging those guys or any of that. Yeah, you know, I was in that, and that's all that was around around here for a little while. Yeah. You know, and, and like I said, the popularity grew and it got legalized in mass a few years ago and it's become more accessible. But it was tough to have a good kickboxing show around here. You know, you had different things going on and MMA yeah. is popular, it's UFC's popular yeah. and that's the way people go and they they have different reasons, you know. Guys do it to make some money, and they just, you know, they know that if they go pro, they make more money. Yeah. And there's tons of different reasons, yeah. you know. But for me, it's it was never really about that, you know. It was always about fight experience for me. And like I said, it came from that martial arts street background and wanting to better that. Mm-hmm. And it, my love for the sport evolved, especially when I made that switch into Muay Thai and just went... It's just all the best stuff yeah. of MMA, you know, like just striking, you yeah, know, and that's yeah. how I feel about it, you know, and nothing wrong with jiu-jitsu and wrestling, and it's mm-hmm. great stuff, and that, that's, that's a whole other, you know, animal. Yeah. Those guys are, they're amazing, <clears throat> they're in phenomenal shape. It's a tough sport, man, yeah. it's rugged. And, and I'm seeing, you know, if more and more MMA guys... You know, crossing over every just to stay bit. You know, even to stay busy yeah. because the striking. If you can get that striking and then put it into MMA with a wrestling background, yeah. 
What the heck? Exactly. Man? You, know, <laughs> you got to kill it. It's a dangerous it person. Is. It is. Um, all right. So from Lion Fight Forty this Saturday, now we'll talk a little bit about your coaching and what you, what you, what you're doing <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> Because uh, you know you have coached a few boxers. You got a boxer, uh, a kickboxer, a Muay Thai guy fighting at a wartime too, right? Is that coming pretty yeah. soon? Yeah, war so times on the twenty fourth of uh, February. Of February, yeah. brawl for it all is coming up, um, and then I believe I'm expected to be back into the no boundary scene. I think Sean put the word out that for you fighting, for me fighting, yeah. or possibly. I got to go back to wishes at some point and defend, defend that, that title. Yeah, so nice. You got a lot of things, a lot of options right yeah, now. It's, yeah, it's it's good. It's good. But this this training, the now, training you, thing you, is cool. You know, I got female fighters class where they're doing all drills. It's only women on Sunday mornings, and they got a good core group of women out there trying to mix it up without the, you know, big Neanderthals, you know, smashing around. Yeah. You know, it's, I mix them in and, and there's co-ed everything throughout the schedule, but, yeah. you know. There's some people that want, Yeah, they just know, want, they, their own I mean, they don't want, kind of, you know, some big monsters. I totally you know, understand, yeah. around on them. And, yeah. You know, that's, it's cool. You so, gotta accommodate so I got your cool, customers. And I got a cool um, group of women that come in on Sunday mornings and they do their thing and, you know, they're taking... You know, the smoker fights and, you know, looking into wartime and trying to get on cards here and there and branching out and growing. And that's that's a that's a very cool thing to see. And the kids program runs six days a week, Monday to Saturday. So you're there. You're in that gym 24-7. I love it. it. <laughs> I love it. It's and the best. Yeah, it's the I can best. Imagine. I actually just had breakfast with my old man. Uh, he was getting line fight tickets, and yeah. he goes, you know, what's this, that, the other thing? You know, when are you going to get a real job anyways? And I said, I just opened a retirement account, yeah. and I make X amount of dollars yeah. a year yeah. running this gym. I'm, I'm a business owner, yeah. man. I go, I'm an entrepreneur. And he yeah. goes, you really make that much? Oh, that's you know, so awesome. He yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's you know, awesome. He's like, oh, why don't you go into corrections? And, you know, he yeah, he might, he's he thinking of benefits, benefits and all, and all, all that stuff. It's like, that's not me. It's yeah. not my style. It's, you know, I love what I do. I Call your own shots, basically. Yeah. I mean, you have a team, but and it's you're the it's you're the fun. guy. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. I love it. And you're changing you know? people's lives, too. You know what I mean? Here and there. Here and there. It, everywhere, yeah. Now, as far as, you know, you have your classes, every, you have, you know, amateur fighters and stuff like that are, that are branching out. Some yeah. of them just came in just to get workouts and stuff, and you got them going in smoker shows, and yeah. you know they want to yeah. they want to test themselves because you yep. you did host a show yourself yeah, uh, not too the, long ago. Yeah, we did the charity show. Yeah, back uh, in November. Yeah, and uh, Steve Walker was the that's right special the, guest the referee. Rat, yes. John and Andy were there. For yeah, the doing, judging, the, doing the and judging. We yeah. had Miss Fall River and uh, yeah. all the local businesses. And that's a yearly thing you, you do there, right? Yeah, yeah, we do that to raise money for suicide prevention at the uh, American um, American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. So that's pretty good. Awesome. That's pretty good. And thing. And now with the new spot, you know, make it big. Yeah, you can have a bigger, expanded. bigger event. Yeah, yeah, we. Um, we got new owners at the gym, so where our gym abuts a fitness facility where there's all cardio stuff, saunas, shower, locker room, free weights, power lifting Everything equipment, you, you name it, it's there. And they just switched ownership in December. Uh, no, I'm sorry, September, and we moved downstairs in uh, December, so now it's, you know, this nice relationship right now. that we yeah. have you know we have a new program for high school and college kids great 60 bucks gets you two gym memberships so you get full facility at east coast fitness of all the strength and stuff all the yeah. classes they have zumba they have a dance studio upstairs they got spin classes pump barbell things yoga you name it and then my facility where i'm going to give the kids the boxing yeah the kickboxing the stick work the blade work that's awesome Bag work, cardio, you know, mixing up circuit yep. training and all that type of stuff. You can't, you know, you can't do the, no, for sixty right bucks. I know you're not. There's gyms out there charging one hundred fifty, two hundred out there. Yeah, 
No way. Yeah, I so let me show you college ID at Bridgewater State College is down the street from me. Obviously, all the local surrounding towns, we are in this nice little niche. People think Lakeville, they think, like, oh, those guys are out in the yeah, woods. Yeah, somewhere. exactly. Like, no. Like, right off the highway. You are. Right, like, 44. right together, yeah. Right yeah. off the highway. Yeah. 24 is two miles away. 495 is a quarter mile, half a mile away. Nice. Bridgewater Rotary, uh, uh, Middleborough Rotary right there. So we got Taunton, Middleborough, Lakeville, Excellent. Bridgewater. Your father's definitely awesome. happy then. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's like, yeah. He, did you, like, when yeah. you wrote down how you're doing, did you slide it to him on a piece of paper? <laughs> I He's like, an offer he can't like, you know? <laughs> so that's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, it's that's pretty awesome. good stuff. It's um, definitely fun. Excellent. So you're producing fighters. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, Dara a little earlier. Michael Dara is fighting on uh, Brawl for It All 5 on February 17th. You know, he he was here a week ago, or he was actually on my first show, my in first podcast room. in the room in this yes, very room. He Mike sat right and there, uh, and Gerald Chiffon yep. was with, yeah, with yeah, phone yeah, was phone was here with him. Yeah. Um, now Dara's with you, yeah, and you're you're getting him ready for this brawl. And yeah. speaking of brawl for it all, well, you just so just so Jared knows that I watched the juice. Okay, <laughs> Jared Tillenhast, I saw you and Capiello out there on the juice, and I heard that there's gyms, kind of brawl for it all gyms now, that are taking in fighters and, and doing that you know type of work, and I was getting tagged in all these things, so I've been a part of brawl for it all since the first brawl for it all, where it was uh, tournament style, and there were two or three dates that the fighters had to progress through, and it was like... Oh, when it was, when it was before it came to Rhode Island. Thing. Okay. In the Bridgewater thing, and my kid Ryan Maliti fought in it. Brittany <laughs> fought her first boxing <laughs> so show. Awesome. And um, my buddy Casey fought in that. So I brought three fighters there, and Maliti, Ryan Maliti, went uh, the distance and ended up taking that Brawford All belt. And then they asked me again when they brought it to Rhode Island for the first one, I think, that went to Rhode Island. Brought right, it all. The, the, uh, four, three, well, it was, four, uh, was it the yeah. brick, brick smoky. Sh- not the know. brick. Uh, not, uh, yeah, it was outside. It was outside, it was outside at the house, last the brick, resort. No, last resort no, in Smithfield. Okay. With the pool and everything? No. All right. Nope. It was the one after that. The one oh, that the Bobby, Bobby, and, Bobby VIG? Bobby yeah, yeah that was the one when Gil, Gil fought. Yes. Uh, so Chad. I produced two Brawl for It All <laughs> champions now. That's awesome. That's right. That's right, Matt Gill. Matt Gill. Who fought uh, the Lions last time. Yeah, he had a very Smashed successful. <laughs> it was a fantastic outing. <laughs> All right, don't Matt sugarcoat Gill. it. Oh, he, he well, beat him up. beat around the bush. Yeah. But Matt Gill had a good outing. Yeah. And, um, you know, since then, I've just been, I've always been tagged in these these things. And, you know, it's like a car accident. You can't help but yeah, click those you videos have to and just listen to that. You have to look. Talking <laughs> is just phenomenal. You can't make it up. I know it's awesome. You can't make it up. You know, and I told myself like I'm gonna stay out of it, and yeah. I got no business. I don't have any grudges. I got nothing, and nobody. You know what I mean? And yeah. I just keep getting tagged in this, and tagged in this, yeah. and tagged in this, yeah. and tagged in this, and messages and all this you know yeah. my name's getting brought up and thrown in well you do like, hold a key. you you do have a champion from there <laughs> you know? so so i'm like you know what man like i so so i texted him i said who's training you yeah you know and he goes well you know i got gerald and da 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 and i know gerald gerald's for a long time he tattoos my sister and my yeah, brother yeah he, he was says, a, yeah 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 good so, guy uh, i'm with my mother and so He's and he's a great boxer. Yeah, you know he's won golden gloves like four times, went bronze in the nationals. He's mm-hmm. he knows his stuff. Yeah. He's still got the licks, man. He's yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. in the gym with Mike. He brought him down. Like, but it, it was a trust thing with Mike and with all the you know like Kim Kardashian drama. That yeah, goes it's a lot. Also, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. especially as a first time guy. And now yeah. you know he said people are coming out of the woodwork to offer him, you know. Train, come train with me, come train with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I said, hey, listen, you know, if you want to come down, you're more than welcome. Yeah. And turned out that we had a lot of mutual friends 
that were, you know, telling him, like, hey, you can trust him, he's not... Yeah, 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 he's yeah. not going to, you know, whatever, and, you know, it, it, Facebook's deceiving, you know? When, you, when you're trying to check things out and you see, like, okay, this guy's friends with Chad, he's friends with Telling Hass, he's friends with da-da-da-da-da, so I... Maybe I don't know. This is a setup. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so that's what he's thinking. Like, it yeah, he doesn't while know. Come yeah, down, you know. So yeah. he finally came down with uh, Gerald, did some rounds, and he's been consistent, man. He's been with me for a couple of weeks now. And Excellent. And he spied with Gil, who's he spied with, with who, Eddie who, Gil, who's who, right who, now who, who, time. Did he spy with Matt also, or just Eddie? He spied with Matt yeah. and Eddie. Right. So he felt. Yep. A little bit of Matt and what yep. Chad has felt. So he's been in yep. there against somebody. Yep. So that's pretty cool, man. Yep. You got not only, you know, you're training them, getting them, you know, kind of like took control of them a little bit. You're going to back them. Yeah, are, you cornering, cornering, are you cornering? I'm going to corner him. Yeah. Okay. Me and uh, Gerald, and I guess he's got another guy, uh, Joe. His last name is slipping my mind, and I should know it, but I don't right now. That's all right. He's probably going to yell right now. I forget, um, but he's got a guy he's doing some mitt work with. He's got a guy that, you know, Gerald. He's he was who kind of was you know his his close friend I guess that took him under his wing mm -hmm. initially and said hey like I need he, I guess he called him I need some help you know yeah so I just you know offered a space for him and you know a place to give him some work some guys he you know he's he needs a he needs a gym to go to so nice you know that's. That's what we're doing. And today he's sparring with John Howard, the, the you know, Mr. If you don't know John Howard, get off the show right now. Yeah. Uh, Mike yeah. Darris, he's, yeah. he's been in this, you know, he's doing some work with Mr. Howard there, the Doomsday. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. He would have never had that opportunity. And he's better in his life, too. I mean, as far sure as thing. getting in shape and, you know, yeah. getting in there and meeting new people. And yep, Jesus, it's a beautiful relationship. I haven't yeah. even. I can't. It's, it's a cool Jesus. thing. I barely get to shake John's hand. This kid's sparring with them. It's a cool. Where the thing, hell man. you got? You got sponsors, everything else, Darren. It's What's a going cool on, thing, man. man. Yeah, he's working, man. Yeah, he's he working. is. He's he got is some, working. He's got a good group of people backing him up, you know. And I'll tell you what, man. He's he's definitely working. He's definitely putting in the work and finding a new love for boxing and a new respect for the sport and all that. So. So you, it's you're, an going awesome after, thing. you're going after you're, you're going after a, a third delt. I know. Yeah, third man. There's space on my wall. <laughs> Are they nervous there's, out there? What's going on? Space out there? on the wall at my gym. For <laughs> Mike Darren's brawl for it. Yeah, you got a big gym now. Yeah. Any, anyone ask any questions or anything? Nobody had, no. No, everyone's just like, listening. Listening. No. Yeah, yeah, the cricket's out there now. Crickets has been going for about an hour. Yeah, we're, oh, we're going to be, yeah, we're gonna be, yeah, we're gonna be now. breaking down. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I actually, am not that excited. It, 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 it's Sunday. No, yeah, we'll be out of your mind. Um, it's Sunday, and I ha it's it's kind of date night for me tonight. Cause oh, uh, yeah? Oh, you do that? Do I do that? Oh, yeah. Kind of. Nice. i got to stay grounded a little bit. You know what I, mean? I mean, I've calmed down a little bit, I think. The gym I haven't, I haven't, is my everything. The what? The gym is my everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I have toned it down. I haven't, I don't think I've called anyone out or, or, or made a really raunchy post on anyone in a while, so. I think having a girlfriend is kind of toning me down. You know how it is. Even Keel. Brooke. Yeah, that's what his girlfriend is, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Um, so no one said anything tonight. Uh, whatever. Uh, last thing, man. You got tickets still? The fights? What are, what are we? Sunday? Where? Saturday. It's a week out. Like Saturday, yeah. So don't be a jerk and go the last two yeah, days. Hit right me now. up soon, you know. I got a couple left. Yeah. Um, but you know those guys want to get squared away. They got a big show to produce. Mm -hmm. They want to get, you know, things turned in and people get paid and money squared away and, you know, put extra tickets on sale. If That's they, it. If yeah. They come exactly. back and they're all, all that stuff. Yeah. It's, it's the show to run. So. You know, and these fighters and myself included, we got enough stuff going on. You know, yeah, we, exactly. We don't, you know, we're we're doing, we're wearing a lot of hats. Yeah, you know, everyone's like, oh, I'll pay you. Yeah, yeah, I want a ticket now. Yeah, hold it for it me. This yeah, time, exactly. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I'm over here. You know, riding a, a bike that goes nowhere for hours. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, you know, hold your ticket. You're trying, and you're uh, like, get uh, out of here, man. Owes me oh. money. Who's yeah, got this? I'm drinking got water that. right now. Exactly. Get your tickets I a week ago. I could take this shit. All right. uh... How do we get in touch with you? All that good stuff. Where you know address, phone number, 
anything good like that. Yeah, redsailma.com. Uh, you can click on the schedules. There's payment sites. There's I got a Valentine's Day special, so if anybody wants to come in, I'm doing couples boxing, giving away his and her boxing gloves, a 30-minute boxing lesson, uh, Rose three up. rounds with yeah, your spouse, and a dessert box from Molly B's. Uh, Look at how this guy's sticking out of the box, awesome, man. man. This guy, it's because he's, you know, he's got bread <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing some cool stuff. We're doing some, uh, some big things, and... We're, like I said, we're on the map, man. Yeah. We're right off the highway on Route 44. It's 155 Millennium Circle in Lakeville, Massachusetts. The website, again, is redsailma.com. Number is 774-259-9258. And email is senseishu at gmail.com. Senseishu. That's from the old karate days. That's fucking awesome. That's pretty funny. That's pretty good, man. Pretty good. Yeah, man. So that's it. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, hope some people want to come in, and get some training. I hope to get some more uh, brawl for it all contenders in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you might I'm be. Gonna be uh, I mean, you I'm gonna be the local that, that brawl for it all gym, yeah. gym, man. You might that's be it. it. You never know. I need a contract from Jared <laughs> Tenast. All right, I want it in writing. I know. Get on board. I want a car from Rich Capigello. <laughs> I know he's got the car hookup. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Rich. Yeah, yeah Rich does deals with cars and that's shit. It. So good for him. Um, yeah, so I'll be seeing you. I won't be seeing you Saturday. <laughs> I'm wishing you good luck. Send a correspondent. Yeah, so I, that's what I got. I, send it. Listen, send anyone it. out there, I'm going to need a correspondent to you go to shows. You get a free Domenico I, hoodie. Yeah. In the best p- press pass that that's Steve it. can get you. I have to get, I have to impre- practice someone. You need it. I need, need I, it. I need somebody to go when I can't go to the show because, uh, I'm sorry to say, this Saturday night I will be in Maine watching, uh, covering Neff. Um, so I won't be at this lion fight, but I'll be there in spirit and, and everything. Oh, I'll be, be watching. I'll be watching on my phone on Access TV. Somebody that's for sure. There. Somebody, Somebody will be there for me. Dominico hoodie. That's on. right. They really will. Oh, you will be right here. A free Dominico hoodie. Right here. So for you know. With that said, I need a correspondent to go to fights when I can't make it. John Espada. Press pass for John Espada. Press pass for John Espada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one that gave it to me. He's like. <laughs> You know, Bill Newcomb's right here, man, man. <laughs> Fucking, who am I talking to? All right, so that's it from the room, man. Awesome, Thanks for man. coming on, brother. Thank Always you. a pleasure talking to you. Fun time. Um.